hi so first of all welcome to my channel and my name is Jen so today I'm going to create this look for you guys um, it's neutral and it's easy and I've used affordable products so I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know what you think comment down below like the video so I know that you did appreciate the video and please do not forget to subscribe and for your information as well uh, my first language is French if I don't pronounce the word correctly sorry <laughs> so yeah keep on watching okay so we're starting with my brows I'm using the elf lock on line and brow cream in the color espresso So uh, to clean up my brows, I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Cafe. The concealer I use to clean my brow, I drag it down towards my lids so it will blend out with the other Maybelline Fit Me Concealer that I'm going to use as a eyeshadow base. This concealer is in the color medium. The palette that I am using for today's uh, look is the Morphe Times James Charles. I'm starting with the color code James as my transition color. using a clean brush to blend out the uh, edges of the transition color and I'm going next with the color 10% off as my crease color and I'm using a smaller detail brush to blend this out <music> first brush that I've used for my transition color so I can blend all the colors together but I did not add any uh, more products on the brush so for my eyelid color I'm going to go with the color punch me Right now, I am laughing all by myself <laughs> because of the name of the eyeshadows of the palette. 
I did not notice the names, not until today while I'm recording this. <laughs> so funny. I'm going to color correct uh, using the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in the color orange. I will uh, color correct around my mouth and cover my dark spots. To avoid any crease in my love lines, I will use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And then uh, to set my T-zone, I will use the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder in the color Translucent. And right after that, I will use the LA Girl Pro Coverage Illuminating Liquid Foundation in the color Toast. my foundation I'm using a damp real techniques a beauty sponge To highlight, I am using uh, the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer in the color Neutral Light Medium. And to blend this out, I am using a mini beauty sponge that I have bought in a drugstore. To blend out the concealer even more, I'm using another brush and this is a trick that I've learned from Makeup Doll. To set my under eyes, I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the color Deep. To set the rest of my face, I am using the same loose powder but in the color dark. And to make sure that everything is well blended, I am using my beauty sponge. And next, to contour, I am using the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. To define my jawline, I will be using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. For a blush, I'm using the Forever 21 Love and Beauty Ultimate Matte Blush Palette. highlight I'm using the balm Betty Lou Manizer aka the browsing bandit
same highlight to highlight my inner tear duct. To make my under eyes pop more, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. Then for mascara, I'm using uh, the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And while my lash glue is getting tacky, I will go ahead and contour my nose with the NYX uh, palette. I'm applying my lashes and uh, to cover up my lash bands, I'm using the New York Color Liquid Liner and then right after that I will add some eyeshadow to my lower lash, li lower lash line I'm sorry and I'm using the color No Beans and right after that I will add some mascara to complete this look I will be using uh, the Nika K Lip pencil in the color brown and the Milani color statement lipstick in the color teddy bear and on top of that I am adding the NYX butter gloss in the color creme brulee all right so this is the final look I have curled my hair I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you next time